I'm Dominique Clark and welcome to Cabarrus This Week. We're in downtown Concord where the landscape is truly beginning to change as more activity takes place on the Cabarrus County Courthouse renovation and expansion project. You're probably starting to notice all the hard work crews are putting in to bring this project to life. But what has been accomplished over the past few weeks? We talked to Jason Harris with Messer Construction about the progress of our new courthouse. Here's what he had to share. So last time you were here, we were erecting the tower crane and we were prepping for the work that you see behind us. Now what's happened since then is we've done all of the shallow foundations for the site. We've done all of the surrounding perimeter foundation walls that separate the dirt from the basement of the new facility. And we poured all the slabs that ultimately make up about the 50,000 square foot basement that will be permanent to this facility. What's next for us is going up vertical. And we have about 80 days worth of erection that's gonna take place to get the five story structure that's gonna be the permanent building up and in place. We are gonna have a lot of people looking in on this work because it's an exciting time. There's about 1,500 tons of steel that's gonna be installed over the next four months, uh, which equates to a whole lot of trucks coming in and out of this site to deliver that material. Tower crane behind us is gonna be shaking that out and ultimately getting it up in and bolted in place ready to go for our pours and then start put to put the rest of the structure together. For folks that wanna see what's going on, there are positions that they can stage themselves from the sidewalks across the street or adjacent facilities that they can set up in to see the work going on without putting themselves in harm's way too near to the site as we're continuing to do the work. Next month, we're gonna start the new storm installation that wraps from Union Street and Barbrick all the way around to the intersection of what used to be Church and Means Avenue, which will mean some road closures and some adjustments of traffic directions for the residents of Concord and Cabarrus County. We'll be sharing the details on more developments. You can expect to come to the site soon. Speaking of what's to come, the 2021 edition of the Cabarrus Senior Games is set and the registration deadline is coming fast. April 6th is the last day to register and the games run from April 19th through May 27th. Cabarrus County has always had a large group participating in the wide range of events, and this year is no different. Of course, there are a few COVID safety precautions in place. Here's a look at contestant Ron Flanders, who uses preparation for the games to stay in shape throughout the year. It's a way of life for me. I always enjoyed um, fitness and I think as I matured, what motivates me is um, I do know that it has kept me, I believe, from a lot of ailments. I'm not on any type of medications. It helps me keep my, my lean body mass. It helped me keep my weight down. Also, it's a great stress reliever. It gives me something to do with my time rather than just watching TV. Uh, watching sports. I'm in sports. I was um, in Walmart one day shopping and I saw one of the Parks and Recreation person has a shirt on. And I moved here um, in 2011 and I do, um, I like to run in trails or, you know, I ran halves and all that. So that person had the shirt on. I just inquired about, you know, what the different parks. I went over to Franklin's Park and actually started running over there. I love trail running. And uh, from that point, was given the information um, about the senior games. And I found out that there was a great opportunity to network with people, meet people that are like-minded, and people that are just trying to stay healthy. I do the, the 50, I do the 100, I do the 200, and I do the 400, and then I do the long jump. There are people that do compete, but you know, the majority of the people that come are coming because they enjoy it. It's, it's a way to get out, it's a way to connect. Come on out, let's have fun, beat me, and uh, we'll see you next year here at the Senior Games. Don't miss your chance to meet new people, enjoy a little healthy competition, and most importantly, have fun. Register by visiting torch.ncseniorgames.org. Finally this week, we'd like to welcome Jacob Thompson, our new Cabarrus County Fire Marshal. Jacob has a long career in fire service, working for the city of Salisbury and Davidson County before joining our team. The Fire Marshal leads the Fire Services Division of the Emergency Management Department. Fire Services provides fire prevention through education, code enforcement, and investigations. 
This role also coordinates with local volunteer departments and oversees the squad 410 manpower unit. Here's Jacob to talk more about what led him to Cabarrus County and his plans for the future. I began in the Volunteer Fire Service from Davidson County. Um, while there, I decided to make a career out of firefighting. I applied at the City of Salisbury and was hired as a fireman. Got to the rank of engineer and rode out as acting captain. At that time, I started having some interest in the fire marshal and uh, fire code enforcement side of the world. And so I began working in the fire marshal's office there. A position came open in my home county of Davidson to be a deputy fire marshal there. So after applying, I went to work for Davidson County and worked there for three years until I accepted the position with Cabarrus. The fire marshal really serves as a guiding light for the fire service of the county. It kind of acts as a, a oversight to kind of keep an eye on everything to make sure that whatever's happening is going in the correct direction. If we see a need that we can step up and address it by supporting the volunteer fire departments. I try to instill to all of my employees that I'm here to support you. I'm here to make sure that you achieve your goals and that you can do your job to the best of your ability. And my job as a supervisor is not to be a boss, but to invest in you um, because the best way I can serve the citizens is investing in my people. If anybody ever has a need or just a question in general, my door is always open, my phone is always on, and I'm always willing to accept questions, as, as is anybody in this department. Um, because that is the best way that we can help, is if you know, we're not aware of an issue, or we're not aware of, of a concern, that we need to be made aware so that way we can address it and we can help drive the county forward when it comes to fire protection and safety. Welcome to Team Cap Code, Jacob. Well, that's our show for the week. Thanks to all of our guests and thank you for joining us. Check out more stories and updates by following us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Cabarrus County or subscribing to our weekly newsletter. Just visit cabarruscounty.us and type newsletter in the search bar. Remember to watch all of our other programming such as Pam's Kitchen, Historical Moments, and Out and About at youtube.com slash County. Make sure to like and subscribe to get all of our updates. Here's one last announcement. COVID-19 has put thousands of Cabarrus County households on the verge of eviction. For thousands more, it's only a matter of time before the utilities are cut off. Help is here. Through the Cabarrus County Emergency Rental Assistance Program, households with financial hardship due to COVID-19 can apply for payment of overdue rent and utilities dating back to March 13, 2020. For more information, text ERAP to 888-777. Visit erap.cabarruscounty.us or call 704-920-1400, option four, then option six. Until next time, have a great week.